Today we review the TV series From Dust Till Dawn based on the movie of the same name by Robert Rodriguez. It is currently airing on the El Rey Network and on Netflix, so you can definitely still watch it. I've been reviewing episode 1 to 5, that's all that's out right now, and on the 15th tomorrow actually, uh, the 6th episode will come in. I can't wait for that. So because this is a TV series, the keep or delete will be keep on watching or delete the episodes I have. And it is a fairly new show, so I will try to not spoil many things. In talking about the show, there is some generic things that are going to have to be spoiled about it, but I'll try to keep that to a minimal. The show begins with the Gecko brothers. They've now been reunited. Seth Gecko is played by DJ Kotrana, and Richie Gecko is played by Zane Holtz. I have watched up to episode 5 now, and they've not shown the uh, escape of Seth, but I really want to see that. So the Gecko brothers are trying to get to Mexico to escape uh, because there are fugitives wanted. And their boss is played by Wilmer Valderrama. Fez from that 70s show, he's Carlos in this. And I think it was a great choice for him. I kind of miss that he's not talking like Fez from that 70s show, but he is great in this character and he's like the perfect badass. Because the Gecko brothers are wanted fugitives, they do have the attention of the police. So there's the Texas Ranger, the specific one that we'll be following through the show, and his name is Freddy Gonzalez. He's played by Jesse Garcia. And Freddy Gonzalez is now personally after the Gecko Brothers, because, spoiler alert, Earl is killed by the Gecko Brothers. Earl McGraw, played by Don Johnson, was Gonzalez's mentor, and now he has sworn on his daughter's life that he's going to get the Geckos and chase them to the gates of hell. With a line saying that he's going to follow him to the gates of hell, you know this is going to be a great show. And they also, in the second episode, made a reference to The Shining, saying that Richie looked like Jack Torrance when he came out of the washroom. Once you get a Stephen King reference in here, or like Sons of Anarchy and you show Stephen King, I'm in. So I have watched up to episode 5, which is what's aired. Episode 6 is airing tomorrow, and there is only 10 episodes in this first season, so it is half over. I marathon through all five episodes. I kind of like to do that. That way I can tell if I really am going to enjoy the show or not. So at the beginning, you're just following the Gecko Brothers, and then they are introducing us to another family, the Fullers. And in the Fullers, there's Jacob Fuller, who's the father, played by Robert Patrick. There's this adopted Chinese son, uh, Scott Fuller, played by Brandon Soho. Brandon Soho. Suhu, I don't know. And uh, Kate Fuller, the young daughter, played by Madison Davenport. And they have some family issues to work through. But they are uh, still being held together. The mother had recently died six months prior. So without watching the actual movie that this is uh, based off of or continuing from Dust Till Dawn, I did go into this totally open-minded, and I love it. So the show does have some vampires, ones that aren't going to sparkle, and they do uh, smoke in the sunlight. There has been times, though, where they're not being, like, torch not being torched by the sunlight. Uh, so it may be more of the Darren Shan variety from the Cirque du Freak book series where they can be in the sun but limited time, but if they travel enough, etc., they'll be able to withstand the sun. From dusk till dawn, I'll definitely keep on watching. I'm not going to delete the episodes because I'm going to want to marathon through this once the season ends. It is only 10 episodes, so the season is now half over. And like I said, tomorrow, the 15th, is the next episode, episode 6. So thanks for watching. If you do want to reach me, you can do so on Twitter at MadLFan. If you use hashtag TodayWeReview, I'll also find tweets uh, regarding suggestions for future shows or movies to watch or books to read. So go check out From Dust Till Dawn.